guy. How's it going? I was room up delayed here for a minute and uh, started the live stream with guy. Yeah, good morning. Sorry. Walking through like a neighborhood here. I don't speak so loud. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to another Friday, uh, well, Saturday morning here for me. A uh, live stream. Uh, how's everybody today? Uh, it was a pretty, pretty, uh, Pretty busy day we had uh, over in uh, Montreal in New York. Uh, I hear everybody was able to get to everything that they wanted. A little sarcasm there for you. Um, so how's, how's everybody doing? Hello, hello. Okay, well, uh, you know, I'm still here in Japan. I'm going to be back in Montreal next week. I arrive next Friday evening, which, if I'm not unbelievably tired, I may be able to do a live stream on Friday. If not, maybe I'll do something on uh, on the weekend, uh, just, you know, to give you guys a little bit of uh, uh, filler uh, content there. Feeling a little bummed, lol. Yeah, I know. I'm feeling a little bummed, too, because uh, <sighs> I think uh, I think I let some people down. Um... Uh, I mean, uh, I think I, I let some people down in terms of uh, the amount of inventory we had for that trunks release. It, it just didn't seem to be enough for uh, for everyone. Things sold out really fast, um, which I think is a good thing. But, um, you know, I don't like to disappoint people. So uh, I, I mentioned it in the uh, Instagram story on Tati and Yoko, and I, I talked about it a little bit on Reddit there, that uh, I'm already in, in talks with the uh, fabric supplier, and uh, we're looking to do a uh, small restock of the trunks. Um, so uh, if you were not able to get a jacket this time, uh, we'll probably do some kind of pre-order uh, situation to ensure that you do get a jacket uh, the next time. The uh, the next, we're thinking uh, the next restock, well the restock, will probably be around um, March or April. So. Stay tuned for some announcements on that. I think on Tuesday I'm going to be confirming everything with Brandon. Um, so, that said, if you were not able to get what you were looking for, we are going to try and take care of that for you. Make sure that you are able to get what you need. Um, so, uh, yeah. The, the, the jackets sold out in three minutes. Um, I think that was the fastest sellout of any product we've ever had on Tatian Yoko before. Uh, so, that was... That was fun, um, but also a little nerve-wracking because uh, as soon as they sold out, like we got a flood of emails, uh, emails and phone calls and messages um, asking us, like, uh, are these actually sold out already? And I, the, we were all kind of like, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so, uh, sorry, my screen is not so bright right now, which is weird. I don't know if you can see me well. It's, not, it's kind of a gloomy day here. It's not cold. Well, it's a little chilly, but not so bad. Um, but not as bright as I'd like it to be. Um, yeah, a lot of people were, were messaging me saying, like, I had the, the thing in my in my cart, and now it's gone. What am I going to do? <laughs> we're going to take care of you. That's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, it is, it is a great story for us. I mean, um, even our New York City store was packed today. I don't know if, uh, how many of you guys were there. But, um, you know, it's great to, you know, it's always humbling, you know, like remembering where we started. And, and you know, I remember even before we opened Tate and Yoko where we were at. Um, so to see things move so quickly, uh, it's, it's pretty special. So uh, I thank you guys all for all of that. Um, I hope you can see me because my screen is wonky right now. I'm, uh, my brightness is all over the map here. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. Are, are you guys seeing me okay? Try to get some better light. There we go. Um, let's just hang out at the dog park. Uh, because it's nice and empty here. Okay. Um, great. Um, so what else? Uh, so that was the trunks release. Hi from Texas. Hello from Tokyo. Um, I'm trying to read this. 
got somebody uh, was mentioning they got the whole Dragon Ball Z collection. Well, there is one more uh, release coming out, and that I announced that briefly. Uh, if you if you get our emails and uh, if you're on the Reddit and that kind of thing, uh, there is one more release, and that's Majin Buu on November first. So we have a very a, a, a vi- now this one I'm not going to restock. This one I'm I'm telling you in advance. The the inventory quantities are very low. It's a very small amount, um, very limited edition Majin Buu uh, Gene coming out next Friday. It is made with the same um, it's made with the same fabric as the Trunks denim, um, but with a pink selvage ID. So uh, uh, it'll have uh, the Majin Buu details, uh, but with the Pink Salvage ID, I will post some photos on it officially on our Instagram uh, very soon. Uh, so watch out for that one. Um, Nick and Fam is one of the most distinctive brands, and I love the quality, styling, artwork. Keep it up. We will we do our best. Thanks, uh, thanks so much for your support. Uh, any plans for a light wash denim jacket? Yes, we have uh, a, a, a denim called the Island Blue stretch selvage coming out this spring summer so um when i'm back in the office i'll do another rundown I, I i've shown off a lot of the spring summer collection uh in some of the previous live streams i'll do a, a rundown of the spring summer 20 collection uh pretty soon um i will be back in montreal for two weeks i'll try to do more than uh one live stream a week just because you know uh when i'm in the office i have access to you know everything um we haven't been able to set up our office here in uh in tokyo yet uh, we'll be back in, I'll be in Montreal for like two weeks and a bit, um, and then uh, then we'll be back here in Tokyo, and then we're going to try and settle all that stuff out uh, while we're here. Uh, how long am I in Japan for? Well, I live here. Uh, so, um, I live here with my wife, and... Uh, but the thing is, we're back and forth between Montreal and, and traveling for trade shows and things like that, so we're kind of all over the place. Um... I need to get the boot, and I'll have the entire collection. That's incredible. You'll have the entire saga. All the saga. Got my trunks. I'm glad you were able to get them. Uh, glad. How long are you in Japan for? Why are you ignoring my post? Which post? This was dope. Yes, it was. It still is. Um, I bet the Magic Boots are going to fly off the shelf, too. Super hyped for it. I'm pretty positive they're not going to last for very long. Um, what are those zippered hoodies coming out? I think... Uh, Imagine Boo is exclusive to Tantin Yoko and uh, Naked Famous New York. So um, I'd have to double check. We might have shipped a couple of units out here and there, but uh, it's it's a pretty small run. Um, The zip hoodies should already, some of them should already be on the website. Um, uh, Yeah, they they should have already launched. I know we haven't posted, uh, like, with all the Dragon Ball stuff going on, there's been a lot of, like, smaller product launches that really didn't get you know the light of day that they needed um um so when i'm uh, when i'm back i will i will try to uh, hey mom how's it going um when i'm back in montreal i'll try to highlight some of those uh stories um so that you'll, you'll be able to see some of the some of the stuff that you know, we 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 really should have shined a, a brighter light on. You know, the thing is, we have so many products, and uh, we're such a small team. Um, so there are certainly things that kind of get lost in between uh, in between releases. I did the I did do the full kind of spring, sorry, fall winter um, collection overview. So there's no question that you saw everything. It's just you know maybe you're not going to see it on Instagram or it may not get its own individual email. Um, but the hoodies, the zip hoodies, that knitwear stuff, that's a business that we plan on running for a long time. Um, so it'll eventually get its, uh, its highlight. Um, we'd love to see a return of the beige weft slub selvage. The beige, beige weft slub stretch, maybe. Um, recently I've been getting, somebody posted one of those, uh, a, a faded image of those on Instagram, and I shared that with the community, and I've been getting so many messages about that. That, 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 that may be something we'll bring that we will bring back at some point. Um, is there a pocketless edition of the Midnight Selvage jacket? Pocketless? You guys asking me for a pocketless jacket? I put pockets on for a reason. Um, no, there isn't a pocketless jacket. There technically is as a sample, um, but I don't think I'm gonna let that one out of our possession. Um, maybe, maybe I will. 
Uh, hit me a send me a message. Maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe we can work something out. But um, the thing about our new denim jackets is that the pockets are all kind of stealth, so you don't really see them. So if you are if you are not into having pockets, you don't have to use them. But uh, the fact that they are there and kind of not visible is uh, kind of best of both worlds. At least for me, because I, I prefer the styling of a pocketless jacket. Um, we need jeans under a hundred dollars. Well, I'll let you know right now that. Uh, if you're, if you're, uh, what am I letting you know right now? What is this? Somebody, uh, lost something here. Um, hundred, a uh, sub $100, uh, jeans, uh, wait for Black Friday. We will have some, that's kind of the next thing we're working on right now. Uh, Black Friday, I believe, is November 29th, so just a little bit more than a month away. And uh, we've got some really incredible promotions lined up for that, as we do every year. So we didn't really have a Thanksgiving Day sale this year. That's because we had so many big releases that we didn't have time to kind of organize something. So we're, we're compacting all of our deals, all of our specials for uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So uh, you will start to see kind of the rundown of the deals um, probably a week before uh, Black Friday. So watch out for that. In the meantime, what do we have coming up? We've got Ghostbusters coming out this Monday. Uh, that I'm very, very, very excited for. Uh, it's the return of the glow-in-the-dark denim. We've got the Slimer, uh, you know, glow-in-the-dark denim. We've got the supernatural glowing edge selvage denim. We've got those uh, uh, club jackets, which by the way are also, I'll tell you right now, they're, they're, those are pretty limited as well. Um, I don't expect those to last very long. They are a little pricey. I know some people have asked me about that, and I mean, it, it kind of just is what it is. That embroidery is very, very expensive, and uh, and I mean, we, that is our new jacket silhouette as well with the pockets. So with the pockets, um, all that extra construction detail has added cost to our jackets. So... Um, you know, a lot of people were like, well, I want pockets. And I'm like, well, you know, we want to keep the prices down. Uh, and people were like, well, it doesn't matter. I want the pockets. I'm willing to pay more for the pockets. And I had so much feedback for that that, that I added it. So um, you are going to see some increases in our in our jacket pricing. But that is because of the, uh, the, the added pockets. Now, you didn't really see that added cost added into the fall-winter production because when we sold fall-winter – production to our retail partners when we were presenting it to them. Uh, we did not plan on putting those pockets in, so we had a, uh, we had a, like a retail price already uh, established for that. Um, but, you know, mid-season we decided, you know what, let's just do it. Let's add those pockets in. We're going to do it at no extra cost. So um, for fall, you didn't see that price change reflected, but spring, summer moving on, you know, and, and with any of the newer productions, like the Ghostbusters, uh, you, are, you do see that kind of price adjustment. So... Uh, for those people who are like, why is there such a price jump? Well, that's why. Um, okay. Store uh, updates on the bib overalls. They, I saw them on my production schedule. They are due to, I don't remember exactly the date, but uh, I did see them on the production schedule. I think, I think they'll be in mid-November. Uh, they'll be restocked by mid-November. So uh, I will, I am, I think on Monday I have my, newest um, production schedule it should be in my email box so uh, once I get that I'm going to do an update you know kind of a mid-season uh, release schedule update the major major releases are are almost done we've got Kasuri well well we've got Ghostbusters on Monday we've got Kasuri stretch salvage on Friday then we've got uh, Emperor of Slub jacket I think the elephant jacket and Majin Buu scheduled for November 1st after that, it's a lot of restocks, just, you know, some of our core replenishment restocks. And uh, and then we're kind of stocking up for Black Friday. So some of the promotions uh, that are uh, that we're going to be having, I've, I've done some special productions for that. So um, that's kind of it for now until, well, basically spring, summer in terms of production of new knit, like real newness. So, um, so yeah. Okay. Let's see. I missed a couple questions. I, you know, it's hard, as I walk and talk, like I, I want to make sure I'm not like running into the road, as you can see. Um, so I'm kind of paying attention, not reading at the same time. So uh, if I missed your question, sorry about that. Um, uh, 
Uh, I agree with Janitor Joe. The new jackets are sweet. The pockets are a great addition. I'm glad you like them. Like, I'm wearing one of our sample production corduroy jackets, and, like, I could probably use a pocket. I mean, especially those inside pockets. It's very handy, but uh, I really like the way we went about it by making them kind of stealthy so that you don't see uh, where they are. Uh, so it doesn't change from the styling of our original jackets that we had. Don't get run over. That's my that's my aim today. Um, any other future collabs in the works? In the works is the uh, well. We have the Toxic Avenger uh, coming up for spring. So that's the big spring release uh, collaboration edition. Why? So if you're a horror movie fan or a trash movie fan like like I am, then you're certainly going to appreciate uh, that collection that's coming up, made with a lot of love. Um, that Toxy denim is really on point. I mean, if any fabric could, you know, really represent the Toxic Avenger, it's the one we made for him. Um, you know, it wasn't just a green denim, you know, we, 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 we specifically used an organic cotton. Uh, it's a, a triple uh, alternating weave, so it's absolutely hideously deformed. Um, so uh, left hand twill, right hand twill, broken twill, big slub, organic cotton with a slight tinted greenness to it. Mm, that is the Toxic Avenger in a nutshell. Um, beyond that, no announcements yet, but we are working on some... Whew, getting losing my breath. We are working on some very, very special uh, projects, and I'm very close to, well, at least closer than I was uh, a few weeks ago to uh, securing um, something. I don't want to give away too much. Anyways, uh, I, I think you will be very happy. Uh, if I can, you're gonna be very happy no matter what. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. Like whatever I, hmm, that's it. I, I shouldn't say anymore. I, it, I'm working on it. It's gonna be incredible. And uh, damn it, no, I can't say. It. I don't want to jinx it. It's, nothing's, nothing's even. That's. I'm leaving it at that. Um. Is your boo salvage around the same amount as trucks? Uh, I'd say less than half. Um, oh, so the embroidery makes sense. Was wondering why it was so high compared to the other quality jackets. They look amazing though. Yeah, the chenille embroidery is, is quite expensive. Um, and you know, it's not like we're making it in China either. So everything's made in Canada. And uh, you'll, when you see it, you'll see how plush and nice it is. You will, you will really understand uh, why the cost is there. Um, any chance for a longer kimono robe? Never really thought of it. Um, so maybe not right now, but uh, you know, if we, if we, you know, something I see a lot here in Japan are like these three quarter length jackets, but I don't really see a lot of guys in North America wearing them. So uh, I don't know if it's not, not something people want or it's just not something people have, so they don't know that they want it. Hmm. Um. Uh, on the stealth pockets, I like how streamlined the jackets are without, but now we're getting the best of both worlds. That's exactly why we did it that way. Uh, how limited is the boo release? Very limited. Um, I don't have the numbers offhand, but less than half of what we had for, uh, for trunks. Island blue versus clear blue difference. They're very, very similar. The island blue has got a little uh, more stretch, and it's a slight different shade of blue. I think if you have the clear blue, then the island blue is very, very similar. You may not need it, um, but if you love that color, then certainly uh, a nice, uh, a nice way to get another pair. Uh, how long have I lived in Tokyo? Uh, it's been about a month. So, yeah. Um, how long does a glow in the dark last on the Ghostbusters gray pair? Well, it's a glow in the dark coating on top of a rope dyed indigo denim. So uh, it'll fade away just like any other, uh, uh, you know, one of our products will fade away. So the harder you wear it, the faster it will fade. Um, so, but it'll only fade out at the, like the high points of strain. So like, you know, the knees and the whiskers uh, on your lap, that kind of thing. So 
uh, the other point is going to say. So what will happen eventually is that your like fade pattern will be the part that doesn't glow because that part is faded off. And so when you are in an environment where your jeans are glowing, uh, you'll have your own personalized like glow fade. It's it's pretty neat what happens over time. Um, will Pronto have the elephant? Uh, oh, Emperor of Slub Jacket jeans in stock? Um, I think so. Um, the Emperor of Slub Jacket arrives, hasn't even arrived in our warehouse yet. Um, will they have it in stock? I think they will. I'm not 100% sure, though, but I, but I think they will. Um... Hello! What happened to the uh, plain heavyweight pocket tees? Thought you'd get them. Plain heavy... Oh, yeah. You know what? It's just one of those things that... Uh, sometimes we plan on things and... It just doesn't get made. Um, I, I will I will double check on the production of that. Um, it's something that I, I really wanted to have for a long time. And uh, it's just one of those things. Like There's just so much going on that uh, some of the... Not that it's a small project, but, you know, I, I guess in comparison to some of the other stuff that we do, it's a little bit smaller. So, um, and because it's not something that we've kind of pre-booked with our, our wholesale uh, uh, retail partners, um, there's no kind of rush for it. It was kind of something designed for Tati and Yoko and Naked Famous New York. And eventually, you know, we'll, we have it available to our customers, but uh, because there's no, like, on the books demand for it uh it just kind of keeps getting pushed back in terms of the production schedule um drop some insider info well you're getting all the insider info right here um just planting seeds okay uh please post post uh please post fade photos of trunks i think i did didn't i if not i'll, I'll do it today before, uh, well, before you guys go to bed, I'll have it up. Um, I need those Vegetas. That's right. Well, I did mention at the, at the start of the stream that we are planning on doing a restock for those folks uh, who were not able to get that jacket that they wanted. Um, we will be doing a restock uh, sometime in the new year, probably around March, April. So uh, watch out for announcements on that. Um, any more DBZ or... Trunks was last. Well, Trunks isn't last. We actually have Majin Boo coming up for November 1st. So uh, that was a reveal that I had in our email blasts. So if you're not, um, actually, and I did it on our Instagram story too. So you really have to pay attention to our social media because uh, not everything makes it to the Instagram front page until, you know, closer to the release date. Um, I like to make sure that our uh, our devoted followers, like the guys, like you guys here who are watching, get the uh, insider info. Uh, you know, and that way you're better uh, you're better equipped to plan your uh, your purchases. Um, please bring back reflective denim. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you. Uh, Black Friday, we've got some reflective denim coming back at an incredible price. So uh, that's, I guess, the first reveal of uh, of the of the uh, of the Black Friday special. So you, you I, I'm very. It's, I don't keep secrets very well, so it's very hard for me to to bottle them up inside. Um, so uh, when you when you really nail it, I, I have no choice but to uh, but to give it up. Um, now we need that Akuma jacket since Trunk sold out in three minutes. Um, I I keep talking to Brandon about going back to doing some Street Fighter stuff. Uh, it may happen one day. Um, yeah, it may happen. Um, nothing planned though. There's definitely uh, nothing planned right now. Um, we'd have to talk to the folks over at Street Fighter uh, to see if we can do another uh, project together. Um, the do uh does the do the DBZ jackets fit uh, slimmer or more boxy and larger? I would say more boxy and larger. Um, we used to, our denim jackets used to be quite trim, quite slim, uh, but we certainly opened them up over the years. I prefer the kind of a, a looser fitting jacket, so uh, they are still kind of relatively short. Um, so they go about to the waist, 
and uh, they're a little bit boxier in the body. Um, will Imagine Boot be available at the New York City store? It will be. Um, who's going to, down to Blue Owl tomorrow? Anyone from Nigan Famous? No. Um, I, I wish I could be there. Um, you know, we actually have a, a, a very special project lined up with Blue Owl for their anniversary. Um, I don't think that they have announced it yet, so I'm not going to be the one to announce it. I'm going to leave that up to them. Um, but uh, I think it's going to be it's going to be one of those classic pieces that uh, I'm going to leave it at that. It's a, it's a it's a super classic piece that is 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 perfect for the Blue Owl audience. Um, it was co-designed with them in mind. Um, in fact. Uh, they, they gave us, they pretty much told us exactly what they wanted, and we put it together. So, uh, because of course, you know, Blue Owl and Jay and, and all the guys there in Logan, they know their audience the best. They wanted to put together a very special Naked and Famous denim product designed for their audience. So, I think we nailed it, and uh, I'm going to leave it to, up to them to reveal that. Uh, should be very soon, if it hasn't already been. I... I I pay attention to their Instagram, um, and I'm a, I, but I haven't seen it yet. It could be, it could just be me not uh, not paying close enough attention. Whew, I'm losing my breath, guys. I am, I'm out of shape. I don't know if you guys know that, but uh, just uh, you know, I don't know how, how long we've been doing this, but uh, just this amount of walking has already been uh, taking its toll on me. Um, I need to find a quiet place to sit down. So much traffic going on. I don't want to get run over. Getting run over is bad for your health. Um, I'm gonna go around this way. Um, are the trunks jackets completely sold out? Yeah, uh, they are completely sold out. They sold out in about three minutes. Um, so I did mention earlier on the live stream that we are planning on a restock of them, which will happen in the new year think March, April, around there. Um, stay tuned to our social media because I'm going to be doing some formal announcements of it next week once I've confirmed all the fabric and production with Brandon. Um, I'm probably also going to do it on a pre-order type of thing. That way we can uh, make exactly what we need for the, the amount of people that need it um, instead of kind of doing a free-for-all uh, launch. Um, I think this way everyone who wants it will be able to get it and will be able to cut it to order and uh, that way we won't disappoint anybody. Um, I don't like disappointing people. You know, as soon as that jacket was released and sold out, our, our, our phones were, were ringing off the hook. I was getting messages non-stop, emails at the store. Uh, you know, our guys at the store were freaking out like, what, what am I supposed to tell all these people? They want all this stuff. I'm like, you know, so so I got in contact with them. I told them that we're I'm already on it, and uh, we're gonna try to get some uh, restocks done for them. Uh, so um, the people who are able to get it early, well, rather get it now. You know, they they, they get to have a very very special piece, uh, and uh, know that they're one of very few people with it. And uh, we're gonna try and make it up to the rest of those customers uh, sooner than later. Whoo! I gotta le I gotta lean. So much walking. Um, will you ever make denim coolers again or mugs or anything? Um, coolers, probably not. Um, I remember back, we used to do some wacky stuff back in the day. Um, every season we, uh, we would try to do something like really out of the box and like unconventional, like just a random item. Like we, we made baseball gloves at one point, we made a cooler. What else did we make? One time we made a denim like, uh, like camping chair, but, uh, we only made the samples. We actually never released that item. Um, we had like we still have like denim kippahs for uh, all of our uh, our Jewish friends. Um, what else do we have? Uh, but yeah, I mean, maybe we'll do some more like you know we have like the denim skateboards, um, but we really should do some something else again. Uh, maybe not a cooler. Uh, the mugs I'd like to redo. Um, that's a bit of a project. Um, that's a bit of a project. 
working on it. I'll let, give me some time to come up with some like, you know, out of the box ideas. Um, tell us something you're not supposed to. Um, no, I, I tell you everything that I can tell you. What am I not supposed to tell you? There's nothing I'm not supposed to tell you. Well, there is lots I'm not supposed to tell you, but uh, that's none of your business. Um, oh, what I can say is that uh, for the Pronto Denim Carnival, we're going to have something so special, something, something really incredible. Oh, man. You'll see it very soon. I, I, I will be able to present something when I'm in Montreal. And I will reveal a new character of Bayzad for the Pronto denim event. You've never seen anything like this before. You should have done a Krillin pair of khaki denim. Yeah, you know, Krillin, um, Piccolo, and, uh, and, uh, Frieza were the, were some of the other ones that I really considered doing. Um, also the androids. Um, but I think we, I think we made enough people happy with what we, what we've, uh, what we've been able to release. Need a naked famous denim that fades with camo underneath. We did a camo weft denim a long time ago. We did that with uh, with uh, Barney's Japan uh, many seasons back. Um, but doing something that fades to camo is not actually possible because what your denim fades into depends on uh, the way it's dyed. So it's uh, you'd have to. It is technically impossible to a gene that fades to camo. Um, oh yeah, insider scoop. Black Friday, here we come. Yes, I'm man. Maybe I'm I'm slow to read these questions. Um, will the Selvage chinos be making a return? Um, we're kind of phasing those out slowly in favor of the Selvage duck. As you've noticed, we've added more colors in the Selvage uh, duck. Um, so. Uh, yeah. Um, don't get run over. I will not. I will try. At least I will try not to. Um, how's the office collab coming that we're discussing? Uh, I, 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 nobody from uh, NBC. I think it's NBC. Uh, there's a lot of companies I've reached out to. So I have some. Who owns what? Some of it is uh, getting mixed up in my brain right now. Um, nobody's getting back to me. I really do need. Uh, I need some help here. Maybe I'll, I'll have a, a campaign, a Twitter campaign, to get someone to uh, reach out to them. We'll just all uh, uh, spam their Twitter until somebody gets back to me. Um, I saw an IG post about it. They didn't show uh, what it was, though. Uh, I guess that's for the Blue Owl uh, collab. Uh, we'd be cool if you guys did more stuff with the Frankenstein denim, like overalls or something. I love my Frankenstein jeans. Uh, well, uh, we are doing a Toxic Avenger denim, which is kind of based off the Frankenstein uh, construction, but we've added a broken twill. So it's a triple alternating weave denim instead of just the left-hand twill, right-hand twill. Um, you guys should add hip measurements to the women's line. Uh, okay, maybe uh, maybe we'll do that. Um Let me talk, you know what? Let me talk to my wife about that stuff. Reese is our, our women's designer. Um, maybe uh, she can give me some insight uh, or a little bit more insight. I mean, she hasn't mentioned anything about our measurement guides, not having what is necessary. But uh, let me ask her about that. Maybe she'll uh, maybe she'll uh, uh, see it uh, that we do need to make some of those uh, additions. Um, can I be a wear tester? Only if you can destroy jeans like no other. Um, well now I have to. Well now I have to get it knowing that there's a second chance. Yes, there is a second chance for the trunks denim. Pre-orders will be awesome. Uh, uh, brick. No, we're not making a naked famous brick. Uh, that's been done. Uh, 
Were the Kamikaze Attack collab jeans MIJ? Absolutely, they were MIJ, made by, uh, made by Kamikaze Attack. Uh, denim sunglasses would be cool. We did a denim uh, pair of sun Well, they weren't actually denim, but we did a Naked Famous denim sunglass uh, with uh, Dutil. Um, sunglass, sunglasses. Uh, character from where? My phone died. Do Frieza, please. Well, there there aren't, aside from Boo, Boo is the last character. There, there won't be, there's no secret, secret character uh, coming out. Um, yeah, some of the few, like, we could get pretty deep, I mean, especially with the fusion characters. Um, and, it, you know what? Uh, uh, oh, man, I, I could talk about, you know, it's like, for me, like, coming up with these ideas, it's like fan fiction for denim. Like, what would this be, and what would that be? Um, it, it is a fun topic, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think that could be... Uh, maybe I need to start my, our own, like, chat group or forum where, uh, where, where we talk about this kind of stuff. Um, but, oh man, it's kind of hard because I spend so much time already in, uh, in customer service and Twitter. Well, not so much Twitter, but a lot of Instagram questions I answer. Um, on top of doing my other work, um, it's amazing how much time answering these questions is where um, some of the, uh, man, especially some of the customer service questions that we get. Now, I'm not saying that everybody is like, has to know everything about denim, but some of the questions we get are pretty out there. Um, yeah. Like, the ones that annoy me the most are, I've been wearing these jeans for X amount of time and they've faded. Uh, that, and I'm like, yeah, you're, that's exactly what they're supposed to do. Um, but, I, you know, of course, I don't expect everyone to know everything about raw denim when they, when they buy products, but um, knowing just a, maybe the first bit about our products before you buy them uh, but maybe I have to blame the salesperson for that as well um, you know they, they, they need to talk about uh, uh, what they are selling to people so um, but yeah or, or like the one that also bothers me the most is this expectation that because you've paid more for something that it should last more um, like like you know this idea that oh well I've had I've been wearing my jeans for a year and uh, you know the crotch blew out I'm just like and I've had these other jeans for 10 years and nothing's happened I'm like yeah but those jeans you've had for 10 years you didn't wear them every single day like you wore your your raw jeans but at the same time like you know I don't know what you you didn't live the same life in your other jeans as you did in these jeans you know maybe, maybe you were extra hard on them one day or, or, or something happened to them like a Ferrari costs so much more than a Honda Civic, but if you crash it into a wall, it still breaks. You know, they don't just give you a new one uh, when you when you pull it up to the dealership. Uh, so it's this idea that like, even with your cell phone, like if you drop your cell phone and the screen breaks, the screen breaks. You know, if, whether you buy the the most expensive iPhone or the cheapest, you know, whatever phone, it doesn't really make a difference. When 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 you use a product a certain way and it breaks, it breaks because you used it. Um, so those those are the ones that it, they, because people they don't accept that answer, um, and then you've kind of got to explain to them that situation. And you know, it's I, I think people who've kind of been around uh, products that are designed to wear and tear and be repaired, um, they really get it. But some people, you know, it's like. And I, you know, I understand it's not a lot of money. Uh, it's not a little amount of money, but just everything in life wears down. Whether it's your phone or your jeans or your car or 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 anything, you know. And I feel like there's this unreasonable expectation that because I spent more on a garment, uh, it should automatically last longer. I mean, you could buy the most expensive cashmere sweater that's the most delicate thing you've ever touched in your life and there's no way it's going to hold up you know to the rigors of you know the cheapest polyester sweater you know that that polyester sweater is going to last uh, but that super fine cashmere is so delicate because it's it's used you know it's made in such a uh, you know with the best of the best yarns but it's, it, it, it is a delicate garment you know and it, it's designed for you know being cozy and comfortable it's not designed necessarily for um 
I don't know, the rigors of, of daily life. Um, but, you know, with, with a, a heavy, with a, a pair of raw jeans that are designed to fade and be worn and torn, like, that's what they're for. I mean, they're not, they're not, you're, you're not buying titanium pants. You know, I, I would, I would, I would say you have an argument if, if the, the, if the claim of that garment was that these will last forever without any holes, but that's, that's unrealistic. I mean, you know, that, that holes and wear and tear, that, that certainly. Um, okay, my battery is starting to die. Um, I know I missed a lot of questions going on that rant. Um, I can destroy jeans. I'm a commercial carpenter. I kill jeans. Okay, well then send me a message. I want to talk to you. Um, will there be a boot jacket? No, there will not be a boot jacket. Naked fans, Discord. I don't know uh, if I want to go all the way Discord. In fact, I would prefer to just have these live conversations with everybody uh, on a regular basis. But uh, there might be room for a, a group chat somewhere. Uh, make a Discord group. Make it a famous Discord. God, I just don't want to be in there all day because I can be in there all day and then I won't have time to do anything else. Um, maybe. I'll, let's think about it. I'm, I'm in the raw denim Discord already. I'm not as active um, as I could be. Um, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, what's the connection between Naked Famous and Unbranded? Unbranded is owned by... Uh, sorry. Uh, Unbranded is owned by us. Um, so it's, it's the same company. Um, Doom crossover of Doom Slayer jeans. I love Doom. Um, would NNF do some hidden rivets? We do it on our MI John. Uh, common sense isn't really all that common. You are right. Uh, um, are the emperors pre shrunk? They are tempe treated, so they are pre shrunk. Um, please do hidden bits. We, we, I keep hearing things. Um, Again, that's, we, 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 we reserve that for our MIJ line. People need Wabi Sabi. Everything wears down, and that's what makes it beautiful. That's why I love raw denim. Absolutely. You got it right. Um, your life wear down too about it. I'm, I'm getting old, man. I'm getting lots of gray hair, and, and I, I get worn out from taking walks. Um, okay, a lot of people have <laughs> written rivets. Uh, okay, a Naked Famous Denim calendar. That would be, be kind of nice. Maybe You know what? Maybe I'm going to get that done. Um, we could answer each other's naked, naked famous questions at least. That's true. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe, it, maybe a Discord server. You guys are convincing me. Um, what's the naked famous item if the UB422s are perfect for me? Check the measurement guide. So it, it depends. I mean, every, every naked and famous product has its own measurements. Um, they're not always going to be the same between, you know, every super guy in every fabric isn't always going to fit exactly the same. You know, depending on the weight of the fabric, the composition, they always fit a little bit differently. And even the production runs. I mean, now, you know, things are cut by hand. So it's not, it's not a, this is not like precise machined tooling that we're doing here. You know, this is, uh, this is, stuff that's still made by hand so not everything is always going to be exactly the same uh from production to production okay guys i my battery is dying and i don't want to get cut off and uh so i'm going to leave it at this um i'll see you guys again uh next time you see me i will be in uh our amazon sellers to be trusted when it comes to naked and famous yeah so long as it's coming from amazon or zappos or you know Usually it says what the retailer is. I know a couple of our other retailers are on there as well. Um, so, yeah, so long as it's coming from a reputable retailer like uh, like the ones mentioned, uh, you have no problems. Uh, are there any other fighting games that you thought of doing crossovers for since you're done with Street Fighter already? Um, TBD. TBD, my friend. And uh, if you grew up in the 90s like I did, then you know that there's only one other one that really matters. Um, yeah, uh, if that isn't the teaser for you. Uh, bye, Bay Zed. Thanks, as always, for the live chat. Have a great day. You, too, have a great week. Uh, well, have a great evening, guys, uh, unless you're out here in uh, Asia and it's already morning. Um, I will see you uh, next time in the Montreal office. Uh, uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Okay. Uh, some people are guessing. Some people are guessing. Okay. Bye, guys. Uh, see you next week. Have a great day. Evening, weekend, all that stuff. Oh, uh, if you want to know what I'm up to, uh, you can find me on Instagram, uh, BayzadT. Uh, I do a couple of little videos from uh, around here uh, living, in, living in Japan. And... Um, 
if you're watching this on uh, Insta on, on YouTube, uh, like, subscribe, all that other stuff. Uh, our, we've got over 4,000 subscribers. Thanks so much for all of you guys' uh, support there. And, uh, you know, share the videos, of course. Um, it does help to answer a lot of these questions that people have. And, uh, and, uh, and, and it helps to get our, our subscribership up. So, uh, you know, the more, more people I can uh, uh, reach out to at the same time, uh, the more questions I can answer. So uh, it all cycles back to that. Uh, okay, I will... Uh, what's your Insta account? Bayzad T. B-A-H-Z-A-D-T. Um, if you see any photos of me on the Naked Famous or Tati and Yoko Instagram, usually I'm tagged in there. You'll be able to find me that way. Uh, don't forget another soft drink review. I am working on it. We, we just went to Japanese Costco yesterday, so uh, we, we brought back some good stuff from there. Um, I'll see you guys later. I know I, my, 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 uh, they're not intros, they're exit tros. I don't know what that is. They take too long. I, I keep rambling on. Okay. Later, guys. Oh, sorry, you're joining now, but you're going to have to watch the replay. I'm, I'm headed off. Uh, I'll, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to have the replay up on uh, YouTube this weekend. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.